This is Blend Club, and I screwed up. I'll tell you how, just a moment. So, how did I screw up? Well, uh, when we went to Boswell's, I ordered all the tobaccos that I would need, and I told the gentleman there to package up all the tobaccos that I was going to use for uh, reviews this year. And I just assumed that he had gotten all the blends. Uh, well, when I got home, I just took all of them and put in jars. I didn't look at the, I didn't look at the, uh, the names of them. I just put them in jars to keep them fresh. Well, I started pulling Jar, pulling tobacco out of jars and I could not find this month's blend which is supposed to be um, peaches and cream could not find it anywhere so today I'm making the video and that's another mistake I make is I wait to the last minute to make these videos so what we've decided to do is we have decided that we're going to switch September's blend and July's blend. So today we're going to be um, reviewing Spice and Nice. I know it's a September blend and if you guys have been smoking um, peaches and cream this whole time and you're expecting to do a, a write-up on that, I'm so sorry. I'm human. I make mistakes and I apologize um, but you know I, it won't be a big deal just to swap them um, just get some of your spice and nice after this video and smoke it and do a little bit of do, do a little synopsis on it instead of peaches and cream but in September we'll do peaches and cream because as soon as I get done here I'm going to order some all right so now let's kind of get back into the video. Um, again, today we're going to be uh, reviewing or we're going to be um, sampling Spice and Nice. So before we get started, we're going to do a little bit of, uh, I want to give you a little bit of information about the blend. Boswell Pipe and Tobacco Spice and Nice. A good amount of black Cavendish and just a little sweet Virginia to make a sweet mild smoke. A very smooth but not meek or not weak a very aromatic tobacco that is welcomed when smoking indoors all right it's, uh, the brand is Boswell pipes and tobacco uh, blended by JM Boswell the blend is aromatic the contents are black Cavendish and Virginia flavoring uh, it says miscellaneous or other I'm not sure if there's any flavoring or not uh, cut is Broken Flake. It comes uh, in bulk. Uh, the strength is mild. The flavoring is mild. The taste, mild to medium. And the room note is very pleasant. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get the tobacco. If you happen to have Spice and Nice with you, if you want to get it and kind of go through it with me, um, go ahead and do that. All right, so what we want to do first is we want to check, see what kind of uh, moisture we have. And again, I probably just should stop saying this because every time I check the moisture, it's perfect. It's not too wet and it's not too dry. It's just right in that perfect zone. All right, now what we want to do is we want to take our nose and kind of put it in there and see what we can suss out, see what we can smell. Yes, I definitely smell the Cavendish. And of course, Virginia is not going to have a smell because it is pretty much used to sweeten up blends. Um, and, it, and you can tell that there is Cavendish. If you look at it, uh, there's a lot of dark pieces and just a few light pieces, light brown. So the dark brown is going to be your Cavendish and the light brown is going to be your Virginia. Now, I don't know if they if sprayed this with anything. Because I smell the Cavendish, but it's not overwhelming. So 
they might have sprayed it with something else to give it a little bit different taste. Hmm. Um, but I'd call it a ribbon cut. Uh, and again, like I said, there's a lot of dark pieces. So it's basically a Cavendish blend with a little bit of Virginia and maybe some flavoring of some kind put into it. All right, well, now uh, let's get your pipe. And if you've got it, if you don't, then just kind of watch me smoke it. I've already done my false light, so I'm ready to uh, smoke this blend and see what we think. It's, it's, it's an odd thing. Usually when you taste Cavendish, it's got a really strong vanilla taste. A vanilla, and if it's aged, it could have a little bit of um, a caramel taste, caramel vanilla taste. I'm just getting barely any of that. It's sweet. That's where the Virginia comes in. Maybe something that they spray it with. If they sprayed uh, something on, if they sprayed something on it, it, does tend to give it a little bit of a just a tinge of a spice. And maybe that's why it's toned down the Cavendish. Cavendish is definitely driving the bus. It's good. It's weird. Now, now spice can mean a lot of things. Is spice like nutmeg? Or is spice like cayenne pepper? I have to say, And I don't know why it's doing that, but it's sort of, I can, t I can sense the spice on my tongue. It's not tongue bite. It's a spicy kind of hot. I mean, it's not really bad. It's not like, oh my God, it's just, it's there, you know? Very interesting. Very interesting. When you do your write-ups, tell me if you kind of taste taste a spice, a little bit of some kind of spice that 
I don't, it's not a really a burning sensation. It's just, it, it, I don't know. It is a little bit, but whatever the spice maybe that they used is. Hmm. But it ch definitely changes the taste. Because Cavendish, like I said, is that vanilla caramel taste. And I'm not getting that. I'm getting a little, a little bit, but not a lot. Very unique. It's a unique blend. Huh. I like it. Hmm. With that spice undertone, this would be good during October, I think. Give you that spicy kind of little bit of spice, you know, and sweet and spice. Spice and nice. Hmm. And again, it could be subliminal, you know, how, you know, uh, uh, you know, you, someone t tells you, hey, here's Here's some type of food and tells you that that when they eat it, they can taste this type, this certain thing, and you you taste the food. And you're like, yeah, I think I can get that, but there's actually none of that in the food. It's just just your mind is kind of connecting what the person said with the food that you're eating. So. Could be that, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I think there is something with it. There's something that's been sprayed on it or added to it to give it that little bit of a spiciness to it. Hmm. Huh. Well, that's amazing. That's kind of cool. Okay, so uh, again, um, here's how I want you to do your review of the blend. Uh, first thing I want you to do is I want you to give me a rating between one and five. Uh, you can use emojis. You can use like, uh, I don't know, skull emojis or cross emojis or heart emojis or uh, I use smiley face emojis. Um, and then give me a short synopsis of what you thought of the blend. Did you like it? Was it too hot? Was the tobacco dry for you? Was it was it just right? Um, could you pick out the different blend components? Uh, just just something short, so that way that new pipe smokers come to Blend Club can look at the blends and see, uh, you know, read a couple of our reviews, but go down that one side and see. Okay, is this a tobacco I think I would like, uh, or is it a tobacco I don't think I would like at all? Uh, so, uh, if you'll do that for me, that'd be great. Now, let me give you my rating. Uh, I liked it, um, but again, um, I'm I'm hard to please. I, there, there are certain blends that I absolutely love, and I, there's other blends that I don't like at all. But most blends fall into that three category. So again, this blend is a three out of five for me. Uh, it's good. Uh, I like the fact that it's different. It's got a little bit of spice to it, but it's not a blend that I would probably smoke on a regular basis. I would probably have some on hand to smoke uh, during the fall uh, because it's got that, that, that spicy uh, sweet taste to it, uh, you know, that you would typically have in food uh, during the fall, at least in the United States, that is. So there you go. Uh, spice and nice. Uh, our next tobacco is going to be a, an English blend. So again, I'm so sorry for the mix-up. I hope you'll forgive me. Um, but uh, 
we will get to Peaches and Cream in September. So until next Blend Club, I hope every tobacco you smoke is a sweet one.